Hi everybody, Frank with FlippedFireTraining.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to create QR codes within Google that will link to your Google Documents. I've had a couple requests for this and so I'm going to make a video and post it so that you guys can uh, see the steps to create the QR codes. So what we're going to do is open up your Google Drive account and you can see I'm already logged in and I already created a test document. So once we create a new document I'm going to click on that and we would be in this screen we could go ahead and type additional text or add to the document and as you know when we're finished we can come over and click share in the top right corner there now when I share the document it brings up this link that I can then share uh, to allow people to access the document now remember a couple things here you want to check on how you have it shared right now this particular file is open so that anyone can view it with or without a link and I'll show you the details here if I click on that, I can set it as public on the web so anyone can search for it uh, and sign on with no login to Google or to Google Drive. If I have anyone with the link, which is what I normally use, then anyone who has a link can access it. They don't have to have a Gmail account to access the file. Or I can make it private and then I have to grant permission. And again, that doesn't have to be through Gmail. You can grant permission via email. They don't necessarily have to have a Gmail account to access that but you can uh, give permission that way so set that however you'd like prior to copying the code so and again down here when I say uh, anyone with the link I can say what they can do they can comment they can edit or they can view and so we'll leave it to view for this one and we'll hit save so now what that does I'm gonna I sometimes I like to just click done again since I made some changes so I'll click done and now I'll click share again and I'll go ahead and make sure now it says anyone can view who has the link so I'm going to copy this long URL up in the top and that's the link to the document so I'm going to copy that to my clipboard by right clicking and hitting copy and now from back at the document we want to create a separate tab and we want to make sure that we stay uh, logged in to the same Gmail account don't log out so we come over here and hit new tab and we're going to type goo.gl, goo.gl, and we just hit enter. And since we're logged in, you can see it carries my login information from my account over to here. And what this is, this is a URL shortener. So it'll take that big long URL that we had and it'll shorten it down to something really small like these ones that you see here. And you can use those on Facebook or Twitter or wherever it might be that you want a shorter URL. So by being logged in as myself, then I can see all the URLs that I've shortened. If I'm not logged in, then I don't have a way to track it. You can still shorten URLs without being logged into your account, but you then have no way to track how often those are clicked on. So I recommend logging into your account um, and making sure that that way you have a way to track it. So we're going to just paste that long URL in that we just copied from Google Drive, and we're going to click Shorten URL. And as we do that, you can see it brings up the document over here to show where it is. And then we can uh, command C to copy, or you can just right click and copy. And that allows you to copy that shortened URL. Now, what's really nice about this is you can shorten the URL and, it, and Google will save that for as long as you want to save it in there. So a, a year from now, if someone clicks on that document, it's still going to go to that to the correct place. And with this, since I'm logged in, as I said, when I click on details, then you can see, let me back up again to show that. Right here, I'm going to click on this details button, which is right next to the document that I just created from Google. I click details, and I will, will be able to see when people start clicking on that link over the past two hours, days, weeks, months, and even all time, I can see uh, how many times that was clicked on. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see what platform people were using, what browser they were using, what area of the country or, or the world that they were clicking from. Uh, so it's really nice. And as you can see within this details pane, they automatically create a QR code. So now with this QR code, I can just right click and I can save the image and I can call it whatever I want. We'll just call this one QR to doc file and I'll just save it to my desktop. And now I have that image saved and I can use that any way that I would use any normal QR code. So as you can see, by using the Google URL shortener, I can easily link to documents within Google Drive 
and I can also create QR codes on the fly which will always link to that shortened URL and the advantage to that is by going from this QR to the shortener I then get data of how many times people clicked on my QR code as well because that's considered the same thing as a as clicking on the short link so again it's an added feature that you get within Google URL shortener so hope you enjoyed the video and um, get out there and use some URL shorteners to make some QR codes have a great day bye